We're going to take the boss relic, but let's look at the map first. Hexaghost. Hexaghost is raw. Let's see what we get in the boss swap. Oh, Runic Dome. Oh, duh. I'm not good with Runic Dome. I like this elite because there's a rest in front of it. However, it pads through three elites, and that's probably not going to work. The elites are fine with Runic Dome because I know what they're doing anyway. In fact, they're maybe better. Maybe I take this early shop. Mm, don't love it. All right, let's go for this guy. But let's go this way. So we can dodge if we need to for some reason. Although I think we'll be fine. We can go through. Maybe take a second elite. And then we can hit this late shop. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, okay. Uh, oh yeah, so Runic, Runic Dome. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer see enemy intents. So it's tough. Yeah, I feel like hosting doesn't happen that often. It's mostly just raids. Uh, this guy does not attack turn one, but I can't do anything. Now he's attacking for six. I think we just gotta go. And then now he's attacking for 11. Do we have lethal? No, we don't. We have 22. Oh no. I guess we play everything anyway. Off by two, take, take one and then kill. All right, it's fine. Do I want any of these cards? Not really. Maybe I take the Tempest? I guess. I am on four energy, but still, it doesn't seem great. Okay, so John Warren attacks for 12 on turn one. And then I do not remember what he does after that. Always starts with Chomp. Attack for 12. Afterwards, has a 40, 30, 25 split between Bellow, Thrash, and Chomp. I cannot use Thrash three times in a row or Chomp or Bellow twice. So I know it's not Chomp, so it's either Bellow or Thrash. Which means he could be attacking for 7, or he could be just buffing. And I won't know. I guess it doesn't matter. I just play everything. He attacked. That was Thrash. He used Thrash last turn. And now he could be doing anything. I uh Well, that sucks, because I can't tell what he's doing. <laughs> ah. Okay. If I made four lightnings, uh two would evoke. That's 16 damage. 16 plus 9. 16 plus 9 is 25. This is not quite kill. I feel like this particular Relic makes game way too hard. It is. It, it makes it very, very hard, especially if you haven't... Uh, especially if you're new to the game. Because if you're new to the game, like like this information as to like what attacks they're doing, this is an extension, or this is a mod. So most people don't have this. And then second, if you're like new to the game, you have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> like... It's only because I've played this game for hundreds of hours that I, I'm like, oh yeah, he starts with Chomp. I, he attacks for 12. Like, What it means is you have to, if you can't find lethal, you have to assume the worst and that he's going to hit you for a lot of damage. I think this is still right. Do I just fill my warp slots? Fair. All right, that was okay. I think we got lethal here. It makes uh, specific bosses really hard. On the other hand, some characters have more reliable patterns than others. Do I take the consume? I might actually take the consume. I need some crossword, but I'll take it. It's cool that they had, had no intention of doing it. I read a developer interview where they talked about when they decided to put in enemy attack indicator. It's clear that they had no intention of doing it, but the community loved it, so they kept it. Oh, that's really interesting. I feel like that's the that's like one of the best features of this game. It's like what makes it better than most like RPGs, like other roguelikes where you're like fighting stuff, 
or even like old school RPGs like Final Fantasy, it it puts so much more strategy into the game. Like having these like probabilistic attack patterns. Uh yeah. And knowing what they're doing, it it act it it's like what elevates this game to the next level. Cause otherwise it would feel random just like uh you know, like Final Fantasy or something. Or Dragon Quest or whatever. Oh boy, this is bad. Always use a tackle. Oh man. Well. I would love to dual cast, but that's never gonna happen. So maybe we're just tempesting? I'm not sure that's right. Okay, that was good. He didn't attack. I think we're going... It's unfortunate we didn't get any block this turn, so we're just going to get wrecked. Hopefully I can kill the front slime. Nope. I still have a chance of killing the front slime. <laughs> that was some pretty bad luck. Ow, 18 damage. This may be a very short run. Dexterity potion. Fine, that's fine. Uh, probably take a sweeping beam here. I do like a ball lining though. But I think the AoE will be more useful. Uh, I gotta do it. Take the Golden Idol. The Golden Idol gives you 25% more gold uh, from enemy drops. Uh, and since I'm in bad shape, I'm just gonna take, lose the max HP. Hmm. It's... I didn't... Oh, this is bad. Consume was a mistake. I needed something more reliable. This is just bad. Ooh. Oh, I didn't need to turn it off. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their body's like a heap, yeah. And then you have to... It impacts, like, the positioning of them and moving them and stuff like that, yeah. Ow. Sweeping beam? Dual cast first? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm definitely doing this. I think Sweeping Beam is actually not gonna... I guess I'll still play it. Okay. That was lucky. And then I just play a regular strike, because there's only one left. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like Dark Ascension 1 that much. I thought 2 was okay, but still, still not super awesome. It was fine. I played it on stream for a little bit. Dark Ascension. Both of them, actually. But yeah, neither neither were my favorite. Streamline is good. We're gonna die really soon. This is not going well. Let's rest. I would say it's not going well because of Runic Dome, but that's not true. It's not going well because um, Consume was a terrible, terrible mistake. So was Tempest. Tempest and Consume were both terrible, terrible mistakes. And when your deck is only 15 cards, two bad mistakes is enough to kill you. This is also likely going to kill me. So all the gray ones are attacking me for six. And the green ones are going to debuff me. But that means I have 18 coming in. I really need my sweeping beam. I've, I've, I've made so many mistakes here. Mistakes have been made. Ow. 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 Yep. There's sweeping beam. Okay, so that helps. Although now I believe all of them are attacking. Uh, the green ones are for four. Which do we do first, the dual cast or the sweeping beam? Since the sweeping beam doesn't actually kill anything, unfortunately, I think I dual cast first. That's nice, it killed one. We got another one. We could kill this to stop four damage, or we can just block, actually. 
I think blocking is correct. They're doing 16, so we'll take 6. Maybe if we get lucky, this guy will get, get sniped. There we go. We probably have someone similar case. In my opinion, this game is top 3 best roguelikes. Yeah. I haven't played... Uh, prior to streaming, starting streaming last year, I hadn't played actually that many games in the past, like, decade, because I was busy working. <laughs> uh, and so I feel like I, I actually don't know. I haven't played many of the roguelikes, but this is definitely my favorite, but I, you know, with the caveat that I just haven't played that many. <laughs> A bunch of sessions. Yeah, like FTL is supposed to be really good. Um, skim, very good with more energy. Attack Potion, probably better than Dex Potion. Depends which Elite I run into. Should I fight an Elite here? Hmm. Probably? I have Streamline. The Attack Potion is probably fine. It's only a question if I run into... Would I rather have Attack Potion or Strength Potion? We'll go with Strength. I'm not sure. Okay. I think the Elite is actually a better choice for me because at least it's a predictable attack pattern. I'm definitely using my Dexterity Potion. Let's get some orbs. Urgh. I would like to play Streamline, but I can't. Doing nothing. What What are your favorite uh, roguelikes? Just one? I don't think I want a Tempest here. Man, I can't believe we, we, we even missed on Consume. We got some bad draws. I think I do it. I mean, what else am I spending my energy on? I yeah, that was not good. Oh, I wonder if I should use my Strength Potion. This is not good. This is this is gonna end very poorly. Look at that. Got no block. Wow. Really? I guess I knew that. Huh. Okay. Ow. He's tagging for 20. That'll be 13, so I can live, but it's not awesome. Oh yeah, no problem. What, uh, that's nice that she's home from work already. The long work day has got to be rough. 13, down to 4. Do I die here? No, he's not attacking me this turn, so I'm okay this turn. Let's see, Tempest is not that bad. Four, it's 40 damage, 50 damage. Oh yeah, that's totally fine. Splunky is brutally difficult. Lots of people don't like it since there's no real progression system. Oh, I see. Anchor, I love an anchor. Frost orb, yes please. Bag of prep, also excellent. Four hit points. Four hit points surely does not work. Anchor doesn't help me against Gremlin Knob. Uh, sentries will likely just kill me on turn one. But I have to make it through two, two hallways. I'm not sure I can do it. Oh boy, I believe he's attacking for 11. Yep, mug. Mug twice. So he attacks for 11 twice. Two turns in a row. Do I skim? I should skim, right? Is that better? Not really. Zap dual cast? Better than cold snap? Hmm. I want the block, but I want to be able to dual cast for 16 damage. 
maybe, until you got the correct, like, genetic features or whatever. I think I have to do that to live. Down to two? Nope. Okay, and then this turn, I don't know what he's doing. 50% chance to lunge. So he's either attacking for 14, or he's smoke bombing. Let's draw cards. Can I kill him? Yes. Boom. And the equipment was permanent, right? Across generations? Or maybe not. Maybe I don't actually remember how it works. Kulhut is excellent in this situation. I gotta not take two damage here. Which might be very... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so this is really bad because... I don't know what he's doing turn one. He could be doing up to 18 damage, or he could be doing zero damage. Hmm. That's real bad. Well, I guess we can block. This is, gives me four, this gives me nine. Okay, okay. I guess. He did the medium one. Again, he... Okay, so he did the corrosive split. Spit. Lick cannot use, be used twice in a row, and other moves cannot be used three times in a row, which means he could still be doing any of them. So I gotta assume he's doing 18 damage. In which case, I guess I die. Hmm. Because I can only get up to 16. I guess I still defend twice, because that's right. Oh, I wonder if I could have split him. Uh... 41. 41 minus 3 is 38. No. Oh, Tempest might have? Oh, Tempest might have given me enough block. It would have given me three more block. Anyway, pray. Oh, survived. Okay, so now I guess I'm splitting him. Perfect. Perfect. He's splitting. Well, that's great. Too bad I lost my sweeping beam. Oh no. He's... Ooh. Well. So if one of them is attacking for eight, I can absorb it. If both of them are attacking, I die. Or if one of them is attacking for 12, I die. Oh, I killed one! Oh goodness, he wasn't even attacking. Alright, right. Do I have lethal? 8 plus 9? 17? Yes. Oh. Let's go! I think I need block. Alright. Alive. Barely. With very few hit points. Okay, so this guy is randomly attacking or buffing. Six, attacking for six, or growing. And the Louse can also be doing either. So that's not awesome. Uh, if the Louse attack, it's between six and eight. Randomly chosen at the start of combat. So he's doing up to 8 and up to 6. Up to 14 total. So a single defend is enough. Do I want to skim here? What would I get that's better? I want to pop that. Then I guess I just do some damage. Grow. Grow. Can I kill you both? I want to kill you. Uh, you, you attacked, so you're either doing six or growing. Six is fine. I can handle that. Okay. Everything is fine. In your face. Okay. Meteor Strike. Not able to play it. Doom and Gloom, though. Not so bad. But I think I'd actually rather have the cool-headed... It's a Frost Orb and it's Card Draw, both of which are useful with 
Runic Dome. Fossilized Helix would be nice. Heath Fragment Equilibrium. I got a lot of gold. How did I get so much gold? I guess it's pretty late in the act. Definitely be Fragment. Equilibrium is on sale, so let's buy it. Who are we fighting? Hexaghost? Oh man. Hexaghost though has a very predictable attack pattern, so that's good. Do I take the ball lightning? Man, my deck is so thick. All for one is no good. I mean, all for one is almost never good. And then is the steam barrier any good? No, because I think we just want to keep drawing cards into cool heads. So how many attacks do I have? Okay, it's probably okay. I'll take the ball lightning. I could also remove a strike. Alright. Oh, I didn't actually mean to rest there. That was a mistake. I was just clicking through too quickly. Well, shoot. Uh, turn one, he does nothing. And then he's gonna do... Five times six, I believe. Anyway, let's draw cards. The fragment is good. Do I want to draw one more card? I don't think so. Okay. So I think he's doing 30 right now. I actually have some decent block here. Let's Sweeping Beam first. Just block it out. Do I want to dual cast out the Frost Orb? Yeah, that's probably okay. Alright, almost full block. Full block? Did I miscalculate how much damage he was doing? Okay, and then this turn... Seer... Then tackle. Seer is six. I think we just go. Alright. Oh, I should use my strength potion. I should have used my thorns. Oh, mistakes. Uh, do I use it now? Hmm. That's a good question. Seer then tackle. So he's now doing six times two. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and use a strength potion because I'm scared. Wait, okay. Let me calculate. Let me do some math. He's going to do Tackle this turn, followed by Seer. That's three attacks. Then Tackle again. That's five attacks, followed by Seer. That's six attacks. So it's at least 18 damage from Thorns. And then Inferno. I wish I had the 18 damage from before as well, because then it would have been 36 damage, at which point the Thorns would be very good. Here, I don't think it's so good. I think I will instead just drink my Strength Potion and pray that we get there. Uh, we need to do damage. Streamline helps us with that. I don't love taking 12 damage, but I kind of want to consume here. Okay. He's back to Seer, doing 6 damage. That's fine. Uh, we should have probably drawn a card first. Oop. 
All right. And then now he's doing in flame, which means he's not doing any damage. Just tempest. Hmm. Or should I save that for a turn where I need block? It's kind of a lot of damage, though. I guess I can save it for next turn. He's inflaming this turn. Next turn, he will tackle again. So let's do this. So now he's doing tackle. That's 12 damage. That's a okay. He has three strength. I'm not paying attention. Uh, because he inflamed, of course. Of course. Uh, now he's doing Seer for nine. Uh, 11 damage incoming. So that's six. Yep. Okay. Now he's doing his big attack, which is six by six, because he has his strength. So that's 36. This gives me exactly 36, but I can defend. Oh, 38. I guess I zap here. I'm alive, but it's not pretty. Now it feels like I should have drank the bronze. Hmm. If I had drank the liquid bronze at the beginning, it would have been 18 attacks times three. He'd be dead. <laughs> uh, we're back to Seer, which is six damage plus strength. So it's nine. We can survive nine. Nine plus four. Uh, that's 13. That's 17. Uh, I'm not sure we can survive 17. Sure we can. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, making it. Making it. Success. Hexaghost. I guess I needed that rest. Although only because other things went very, very wrong. Echo form? Yeah. Gotta be echo form. Okay. Well, it's not Black Star. I guess it's Neko Eye, but this is. I'm just gonna die soon. I would like to start over. I would like a mulligan. But some runs are just rough. Merchants are nice. I like to buy things. Maybe something like this. Fight the elite if we can. All right. I'm not even sure we're gonna live that long, so let's let's go for it. Herbs. Though so some number of them are attacking, but that number is unknown to me. Can I use swoop on turn one? They're either pecking, or they're cawing. So they're gonna be up to eighteen coming in. I guess that's okay. We got that. I guess we do this one. You know what? Good thing I have that. Please, please hit me. Cool headed would give me 17 block, which is maybe better than trying to streamline one if they're going to kill themselves anyway. But what if they don't kill themselves? This one will actually die. Oh, whoops, I should have leaped. Did not matter, I did not leap. Okay, cool. Consume and defrag? Wait, can I knock one down? No. There's no way. Two cost strikes? Not a, not a chance. I'm just gonna take a lot of damage, I guess? I hope you kill yourself. Even if it's going to hurt me really bad. You did not? 
Why? That was terrible. That was like the worst possible thing that could have happened. Okay. Feels bad. I just block, right? And hope that they're attacking, doing multi attacks. That was good. Not so bad, I only took three damage. You're a little late, cards, but okay. I guess we take the loot plus. We we have a decent amount of focus actually. It the problem is more and so the, the loop plus could help with frost orbs. Ooh, bloody idol. Yes, please. I will miss the gold, but the golden idol turns into a bloody idol. Whenever you gain gold, heal five hit points. Five is a lot. Incense burner would have been nice. Capacitor, very good for this deck. We have a lot of focus already, and we have a consume. I take it. Can't afford any of these. Regen potion might help me stay alive. Yeah. Okay, okay. Probably more useful than the flex potion. Save the rest of my money. I don't know how I'm still alive. I feel like I should have died a long time ago. Upgrade two random cards, remove a card, or remove a card and upgrade a random card. There's no shop that I'm necessarily hitting right now. So I think I'm okay with the designer inspire uh, full service. Strikes are still bad for me. Streamline got upgraded. That's actually totally fine. Extra damage is good. 20 damage streamline is a pretty good card. Even late in the game, I feel like 20 damage is fine. Less good with Sneko Eye, but pretty neutral. Uh, so let's see, he's doing 21, right? Always starts with Bell. 21. 21 is bad. Could use a leap. Nope, that's not it. I guess I can Sleeping Beam and defend and hope for another card. Another playable card. Anchor really helping out. Although, oh, I forgot my potion. Uh-oh. So now he's doing 7 by 2 right? Double strike, suck, and fell. But double strike and suck cannot be used three times. Fell cannot be used twice in a row. Right, so I know he's not felling. So he's either sucking, lifesteal 12, or he's double striking for 14. Those are both manageable numbers. I'm sad about the fragment, but it's fine. He did suck. So now he could be hitting me again, right? He's either doing fell or double strike. He could be doing suck again. Stunned if plated armor is broken. Oh, I see. Can't really evoke here. I think this is fine. Uh, that gives me 20 block. He might be doing one. I'm okay with that. Too bad I didn't get the loop out, but that's okay. It looks like he did lifesteal again. So again, he could be doing any of them. Can I get to lethal here? 
or do I need to block again? This is 40 damage, except he has like 60 hit points, 61. If I do 40, this is 12, that's 52. 52 plus... Fifty two plus ten. Sixty two. Is that one off lethal? Am I one off lethal? I think I'm actually one off lethal. Well, that's crummy. I think I block. Uh maybe a loop so I can have some block next turn. I forgot I had another turn of echo form. Now do I have lethal? Loop was unnecessary. I should have just played the ball lightning because I was hoping to get lethal this turn. Because there's 15. There we go. That's enough. Right? Easy. Okay. Oh, I missed out on some healing. That was dumb. I'll take another deep frag though. I think I gotta rest. I'm in such rough, rough shape. There's no way I can hit an elite. Even though the hallways are killing me also. Ooh. I keep expecting to die, but I'm not dying. I don't know what that means. Uh, I believe neither of them are attacking on turn one. Capacitor, or just go ahead and strike? I feel like Capacitor actually doesn't help me right now. I want to evoke stuff. Can I kill it? So there's 11 from this guy and 10 from this guy. 20, and then 13. Well, that's a problem. These were some really bad rolls. I think I'm just eating it here. Definitely doing that. I guess I get a little bit of block. Or do I just sweep for some damage? I can sweep for damage and then maybe I get a one cost. Nope. Ow. Uh, baseball is doing 22. And this guy is uh, adding days to my deck. 22, though, is not fun. Do I just cool headed and defrag? And lose the echo form? I guess so. Leap, is that better? I mean, I'll get two block from this. I, uh, 22. This has got to have more long term value. Buy Echo Form. Maybe Echo Form was the right play there. It might have been. Why do I have no damage? Why can't I kill this sentry? Do I do I did I remove too many attacks? Seriously, come on. But that was pretty nice. All three cards I drew from the skim were cost zero, but still. Where are my attacks? Oh my god. Uh, let's do this is doing 11, and this is doing 10, I think is what I decided. No, this is not attacking, this is doing 10. No, he's not attacking on the evens. So he is attacking? I think we got enough block. Yeah. This is doing 11. This is doing 10. That's 21. I got 21. Let's get this high cost card out of my deck. Or out of my hand. Right. Okay. There we go. Math checks out. Uh, he's doing 22. That's okay. Because I have 12 plus 6. I have 18 already. 
18 plus 6 is 24. This is worth it. And then I just kind of chill out. All right. We got plenty of block now. We got an abundance of block. I wish I had more direct attack cards. This is going to be very slow. Uh, no, I could maybe figure this out. This is probably fine. Oh, I should have played the defend to get less cards in my hand. What am I doing here? I think I need to get frost orbs going again. He did the two attacks, so now he's doing the one attack. That's fine. Aha. That was a little painful, but we made it. Sunder? I do need more attack damage. It works really well with Echo Form. Oh, we have Sneko Eye. So yes, gotta take Sunder. Take the three cost. Early echo form, yes. These things are free. So he's gonna hex me, so he's not attacking. Uh, but bird could be attacking for six. We got plenty of blocks, so that doesn't matter. I guess. Do I want a looper capacitor? I guess loop. It has more immediate value. He attacked. Well, that's unfortunate. So I believe... Does he always go to poke turn two? Alternates 50% split between debilitate and drain. Drain is 12. Sorry, debilitate is 12. Drain is zero. So he could be doing a most 12, but he might be doing zero. And then th this guy could be pecking again, or could be swooping, or could be calling. Uh, which means at most... Oh, he could be swooping. It could be 14 plus 12, which is 20 some... 20... 26. So I guess I do this. What if I didn't duplicate it? What if I duplicate defrag instead? That's not great, actually. Okay, this is fine. Okay. And then if I double defragment here, that'll give me 12 more additional block. It's just not clear how I'm killing anything at that point. Well... And we're retaining this hand the second turn, so that'll be fun. So he got stronger. This guy did poke. Ooh. Can I kill him? I can kill him. Wait, nine? No, not enough. Because we're weak. More frost? Uh, 
That's not awesome. Um, and we're out of retain, so we're going to definitely draw into that next turn. So next turn we're basically doing nothing. So maybe I just want to get enough block for next turn. I guess I could also play four attacks and knock him down. Is that true? One, two, three, four. Okay, okay. That's not terrible. Next turn is going to be really rough. Except at least I have loop and all the frost orbs, so maybe it's okay. I am now vulnerable. Gim. I don't think we need to double play Skim. I think we just sit. He could be doing 31, I believe. Oh, it's probably the strength up is why why it took so much damage there. The second the target became invalid, the second target for Echo Form didn't go off. And so I still have Echo Form active. That's awesome. Okay. We were we were talking about that the other day, how exactly that, that interacts. I guess I draw cards. Because he could be doing Zap. Zap does 21, plus 3 strengths is 24. Something vulnerable, so that's 36. And I have 28. Except he just zapped, right? Uh, but I guess there's nothing stopping him from zap. Oh, he, he can't zap twice because it's in a different attack set. He's either going to debilitate or drain. Let's... So... Based on that, I feel like I should strike twice, but no, I should draw stuff to play. Kind of. All right. So earlier I was saying the most he could do is 36 with the three strengths he has. And I have 36 block, so I don't have to worry about that. Yep, full block. Come at me. I guess. That's also fine. All right, made it. I am having a hard time doing damage, which is an argument for ball lightning. I don't love pulling in more one costs with Sneko, so maybe we just skip here. Which route am I going? I guess I want to path through this camp, and then maybe we just fight one elite at the end. Okay. Gambling chip, excellent. Get rid of all those high cost cards. Am I going to Tempest? I feel like no. Everything that's not zero? Make some hand space. So wait, does he start with 24? Or Enfeebling Spores? I think Enfeebling Spores. No, he could be attacking with 24. Oh, that's... Not good. So I need some block. That's not so bad. Oh, he is attacking. Took five. Not great. Once Enfeebling Spores is used, which it hasn't, it changes to a cycle order of Chomp Chomp Enfeebling. He could be chomping again. Which sucks. Go form. Okay, we have enough block for chomp. All right. 
Oh, I should have played the defend because I'm retaining and I'm retaining for two turns. This does not. Wait, did he hit me last turn? Oh, I should have been paying more attention. Wait, am I weak and frail? No. So he did hit me for last turn. Chomp cannot happen three times in a row. So this turn he must be doing enfeebling sports. That's good to know. What do I want to do? I want to maximize my damage, which I think is under. It's not great, though. And I don't think I want to lose my Frost Orb in front, because it gives me 8 block with the loop. So I guess we just Sunder twice and pass. I made it! You're dead. Okay. Cool-headed? Yeah, it's probably correct. I feel like with Psycho Eye, it's probably always correct. Okay, champ. I think I would rather have a fear potion than a weak potion. But I'm not sure. Go for the eyes. With Sneko? No. I'm like playing really fast and carelessly, and I really just want this run to end because Runic Dome is so hard. <laughs> But I keep living for some bizarre reason. Glad you got Sneko again? I mean... It was Sneko... Uh... Choker... And Black Star. I mean, what, what am I gonna do? It's also another case where like Sneko's probably not working out for me. Yeah, the average discount is negative, which means I'm like losing energy in the process. I I'm paying more energy than I need to. Take the choker, it's something you could have done. Uh maybe. Choker's real bad. Do I have to rest here? I think I rest here and then I go through the elite. Wait, why would I go through the Elite? I feel so weak. You can do anything though. Yes, you're right, I could have done it. I think it would have been even worse. Sneko at least gives you hope of good things happening. And I had taken the Echo Form as the boss reward, which makes Sneko like, not so bad. I kind of want to upgrade Sunder, but also I kind of want to rest. Let's upgrade Sunder. Also, the Deep Fragments are pretty good upgrades. I got a lot of upgrade priority. Uh, maybe the Deep Fragments are more important, actually. You know what I what this deck is missing, especially for the champ, is a dark orb. Hey, look, I got my key fragment. Let's lose the ball lightning. This seems fine, because this will give me a lot of block. Do I get lose the strike? It costs zero. No, that's fine. Okay, so what am I attacking? I guess I could kill this with Sunder. Is that good? If he's, if he's attacking for 21, which he is, uh, it'll go up to 31 damage from the vulnerable. That seems okay. What think we do? Oh, you know what? We were retaining. We are retaining. I should have saved this under for this turn. 
So I could have used the energy with cards. Okay. Always starts with fell. So now he's doing sucker double strike, right? 12 or 14. I think we double consume here. I like focus. I mean, I just need enough block. And then avocado can't hurt me. Like, I think at this point, avocado can't hurt me. The most damage you can do is 21. Uh, Zap is probably fine. Double Thunder. Let's go. Electrodynamics? Nah, it's Neko, right? And we just made it through Act 2. Oh, we could pick it up and fight the Elite. You know, Slivers could just kill me on turn 1. <laughs> they do what? 31 damage. Oh no, I have an anchor. It's fine. You know why? It's fine. I have Sneko Eye, I have Bag of Prep, so I draw 9 cards, and then I have Gambling Chip. So I can go 18 cards deep into my deck. So it's fine. Oh, we got Book. That's also not what I expected. Let's not do that. It is a plus. It's not the defend. Do I even want the zap? This seems fine. Why did you not expect book? Wasn't it a 50 50 chance? I think it was a 1 in 3 chance of book. It could have been any of them. I have not fought any elites because I am a scaredy cat with runic dome. I don't know why I can't scroll without making the stupid thing appear. I have fought zero elites. You sure you don't want freeze out? I mean, maybe. He always starts off with attacking for 14, I believe. Seven, seven times two. I don't want freeze app as much as I want. Echo form. Thunder. No, Thunder I don't care about. Echo form. As much as I want Echo form. I didn't get it, so that's mean. Do I want Equilibrium? No. Because he's not doing that much damage. You already have 10 block. Why do you care about block? Yeah, you're right. I could have lost Leap. I didn't need Leap. I didn't need Leap. I should have gotten rid of Leap. But I do want all my powers as soon as possible. Alright, so the problem is this turn, right? I don't know if he's doing the multi-attack or single attack. So he's either doing 21 or 24. I guess it doesn't matter. I did get Echo Form though. Well, that's nice. Wow, everything low, rolled low. This is like the best. This is like the best Sneko I've ever seen. Uh, let's put the Frosts in front. I kind of want that Defragment. But I'm not going to play it. Well, okay, so if I play the Defragment, it'll give me three more block. 12 versus... And I decided I'm taking a fair amount of damage. I think I need to kill. I gotta do damage, right? T 
Tempest for one to give me some more block. Yeah, that's actually fine. And also, it it speeds up the kill, which is important. He did the multi hit. He did multi attack. Uh, multi attack cannot be used three times in a row. So we, he's definitely doing the single attack. That's not a lot of block. I guess I sweep twice to draw cards. That cool headed is a little expensive. Is it still the right thing to do? Consume cool headed zap? Twenty-four incoming. If I consume this goes up to six, it evokes for nine. I'll get nine plus six, I'll get fifteen block. That seems okay. That was a single attack. A uh, single attack cannot be used twice in a row, therefore he's doing four by seven. Uh, Sunder does not kill because I never upgraded it. Oh. Four times seven is fine though, right? I can um cold snap twice, defragment in equilibrium. And that's full block. And I can play Sunder next turn to kill. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, I took one. I math wrong, but it, it was okay. I got so much focus. Art of War. Glacier. I love a glacier. I don't have very much money, so I feel like that shop is just going to make me sad. I will skip it. Hey, I got gold instead. It also gave me 5 HP because of the bloody idol. I'm, I'm down with that. I'm scared. I'm going to rest. Tam, you're probably going to kill me. Okay. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. These seem fine. All I know about Champ is every four turns he uses taunt. So turn four, eight, 12, whatever, he is not attacking. No, the only thing I know is every four turns, he is not attacking. Everything else, basically he could be doing anything. He could be hitting me in the face or he could be doing a defensive stance or he could be doing face slap, heavy slash. Anyway, okay. Let's... Oh, if I was going to Equilibrium, I probably wanted to save that zero cost defend. I am stupid. Okay, okay. Let's play some things. These are some terrible costs. So maybe I don't Equilibrium here. I mean, I think at most he's doing 18 damage. So, like, that's fine. No echo form on that defrag, but that's maybe okay. Ooh, there's echo form. Why does it cost so much? I didn't see how much he hit me for. He did hit me though. Wait, I'm vulnerable. He did face slap. Okay, so he's either doing heavy slash or defensive stance. So 18, 18 blocks is what I need. Okay. Do I just echo form, glacier, thunder? Seems fine. 18? No, he did defensive stance. 18, 14. That's what I gotta remember. He can do 18 or 14, and that's it. Uh, let's double consume. See, now is when I wish I had a dark orb. Uh, I have the loop, so I think I want the block. So I don't want to lose that frost orb. Ow. Did I not have enough block? I thought I had plenty of block. I 
guess this is fine. Oh, it's because I was vulnerable. I'm stupid. Okay. That's why. That's why I took more damage. No more consuming. We've consumed enough. Oh, this is not going to work, is it? Yes, it is. All right. Double defrag, yes. Uh, if I evoke two, they'll all be lightning. I don't think I want that. I don't think I can safely end. I'm vulnerable. Oh, but it was enough? Okay. Double ball followed by Glacier? 33 should be enough. He hasn't gotten stronger. Let's just do a bunch of damage. I think I'm expecting to get a bunch of... Sneko isn't really trading it kindly? Yeah. It could be worse. I need to aggro form my Sunders to get some significant damage in. Okay, do I split them? Do I just make a bunch of lightning orbs at this point and try to split them? Maybe? Zap is not my favorite way to do it. Or do I wait for like double Sunder? I should just wait for double sunder, right? This is fine. This. Oh, it doesn't impact his metallicize, right? For some reason I thought it would. Okay, never mind. Double sunder. Double streamline. Also, I'm weak. Which is also not excellent. Do I go? No, I should just wait, right? I should just wait. Zero cost double sunder? Sure. Wait, do I electrodynamics twice instead? No, I gotta I gotta go for the damage, right? Oh, I should have ended with the electrodynamics. Because this turn he's not attacking. Now he's doing the removing debuffs. And now I foolishly don't have a Frost Orb for next turn when he's doing the big attack uh, in front. I'm not looping my Frost. I gotta... But I did get lucky. He's doing what, like 60 ish damage? I guess I can calculate how much. Oh, I got plenty of block. He's doing 20. He's doing 30 times 2. Which is surprisingly okay. Alright, getting there. After execute, in between execute moves, Follows the original rules and probabilities of the pre-enraged state. I see. He could either be doing defense, defensive stance, face slap, or heavy slash. That seems okay. Let's do this. Followed by this. Hmm. I don't think I want to equilibrium here. Glacier would let me loop the... The lightning? 
One, two, three, four. That's probably fine. That probably will go to lethal. Okay. Oh, I can also dual castle next turn. Dayton game, but you get the audio and have two screens, and I have two screens, so it should have no impact on the, on my presence in this excellent stream. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's past four o'clock my time, so when I lose this game, which I am certain I will, even though I'm somehow surviving, um, that fight actually went swimmingly well. I I rested. I didn't even need to rest before it. All for one. I found focus. I guess that's what happened. Cage? Nuclear battery. It's gotta be nuclear battery, right? After you win this run, in about an hour and a half, you'll probably regret your lies about that. I would be very surprised if I win this run. I'm like... Very laissez-faire here. I have to fight this, so we're going this way. Surely fighting all those elites is bad. But I may be underestimating the power of Bag of Prep plus Gambling Chip in Snack OI. These three together are actually like a really good combination. Oh, and Anchor. My turn one is normally very, very, very good. Or just play one token game just not just to make it not a lot. Yeah, like yesterday. Okay. Pretty sure I don't want the zap. The three cost defrag? I get one extra energy from the plasma orb, so I have five. It's still not awesome. Definitely don't want the strike. Don't want the tempest. Don't want the defend. I could echo and play it next turn. Uh, with equilibrium. I think it's actually a skip. Right? Is four focus worth three energy? Maybe it's fine with the plasma arm. Definitely playing that. That should give me plenty of block. Do I want to play it next turn or now? Also, I can loop to get a bunch of energy next turn. Yeah, that's probably right. Save that for next turn. So he does... I see, he could be doing up to 21 damage. I think we double defrag here. Because I got all this extra energy. 21. A... Do I dual cast out for more energy? Twenty one. I have enough block. What would I do with the extra energy? Play the defragment. I think I'd rather have the extra energy next turn. Okay. Hello, hello, Mary. Giraffe. Is it time? Or maybe it's time for this. Or maybe it's time for this. I think it's time for this. Yes. And then some of this. Well, let's draw a card. Maybe it costs zero. It doesn't. And then we do some of this, and some of this, and some of this. That was very easy. I did not expect it to be easy. I think this deck is better than I think it is. 
It's been a hot minute. How are you doing? You love the boot so much? Yeah, I love the boot too. I put it at tier three so that I could still use it. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, downside is it, it's hard for you to use. There are no spikers. We don't have to worry about spikers. I love this. I kind of want to have some block, don't I? Do I save a defend? Yes. Feels bad. Echo Porn for zero. Sunder for zero. Okay. This is zero. This does 20. This is 24, which doesn't quite kill something. Why not? I guess this is fine. Pretty good. Started working. Oh, nice. I am happy for you. Since June. Yeah, so that's excellent. That's super awesome. Congrats. Do I consume here? Yeah, sure. Why not? I guess the... I keep thinking this defect deck is bad because A, I have like zero relics. I'm into Act 3 and I have like almost no relics. I fought like zero elites and I have Runic Dome and Runic Dome, I just always feel like I'm I'm going to die. Um, but I underestimate the power of... Bag of Crap, Sneko Eye, Gambling Chip, making my turn one very, very good. Which for the defect is like the win condition. If you can get all your powers out on turn one, then, then the game is over. Like here, I believe Electrodynamics just killed everything. Yeah. Pretty sure most people feel like they're going to die with dope. Exactly, yes. I don't think it's unusual that I feel like I'm going to die all the time. But with Dome, I just feel like I got it during a boss swap. And so the whole run, I've been like, well, I guess I'm going to die now. And then it doesn't happen. Do I take the Streamline Plus? It's kind of a lot of damage for me. No, because I just want to prioritize getting my powers out on turn one. And so I want to try to keep my deck. Smallish. 31, I admit, is not small. But... I draw nine cards and I have gambling chips so I can go 18 cards in on turn one, which is pretty good. Let's go this way. All for one plus zero cost is excellent. I also want the echo form. Let's. Let's maybe use the Equilibrium so that I can save some of this stuff for next turn. So I'll play Echo Form and Equilibrium this turn, and then do however much damage I need to, to not take damage, and then next turn I'll be able to like all for one, Sunder, Cool Headed, blah blah blah. I don't want this card though. That card is bad. Skim seems okay though. Everything else seems okay. Another zero cost. So he starts at 40, right? Yeah, so he starts at 40. So I need to do 30 damage. Kill the transient or be cursed. Yeah, Runic Dome is pretty spooky. So I've done 30, and I already have 23, so I'm fine here. I can just end turn. However, I may as well do this. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't want that strike, but what am I going to do? All right. Okay, let's double the loop, yeah?
And then I think I evoke out. I need to get some cards out so that when I all for one, I have space for Sunder. I think if I play zero cost, they go to the end of the queue. I think you draw them in the order that they're in the discard pile. So that's okay. He's doing 50 damage this turn. And we're already at 26 plus 25. We're already at 50. We're already good. Well... Keep doing stuff. Uh, putting the frost rub in front is good though. I kind of want to skim to look for. Oh no no! I need defragments and capacitors. <laughs> They're all at the bottom. But at least I can echo them if I don't draw them. So I think that's okay. I don't think I want to consume another one. Oh. I miss my energy orb, but I will happily gain some focus. Hello, Artemis. How are you doing today? Good job on the uh, Wordle. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. I think he's doing sixty damage though. I think I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. That's okay. Six. I took six. Okay. He's doing... Uh, 60? 70. 70, 80, 90. He ends at 90? 70. He's doing 70. Well, that's a terrible offer one. Yeah, three out of six. Three is very good. Hmm. Ball lightnings? Cool headed. He's doing 70. I have 54. Fifty-four, sixty-four, seventy-four. That's fine, right? That should be safe. I play this because I am scared. All right, so he's now doing 80. And I start with 50, 64, 74. I start with 74, so this is enough. Oh, I should have maybe equilibrium and saved stuff. I guess that's fine. Okay, now he's doing 90. Let's go Sunder! I think we're fine. I think I can just end turn here. Bam, bam, bam. Alright. See, I seem like the, the deck seems really strong. I could take the uh the gold. If I was really bold, I could do the upgrade all cards, actually. I think it's fine. I think the upgrade all cards is totally fine here. Mark of the Bloom, upgrade all the cards. It'll be really good with the cool headed. It'll be good for the defragmented capacitor. It'll be fine. Mark of the Bloom, right? 
I'm at almost full health. I can do it, right? This is a this is a blocking deck anyway. I haven't been getting hit that much. It'll be fine. Mark of the Bloom. Let's go. I'm going through the shop. Mummified hand? Self repair, rip. I have nothing to upgrade. Smith was grayed out because I have nothing to upgrade. It still will allow me to try to heal, although it literally does nothing. This will be fine. Not three cost strikes. Not three cost... I don't even love the three cost capacitor. I guess it's okay. All right. We didn't get any zero costs. That's kind of mean. Okay. More cards. Echo form, yes. More. Not the one I wanted it to hit. I think I play the capacitor here. All right, do I play the streamline? Oh, and Sunder? It'll do some damage. Or I can get extra energy. I think this is probably okay. This is a good amount of damage. I should not skip out on 80 damage. I support this time because you have all for one and bludgeon. Not because I took Runic Dome and Mark of the Bloom. Both very, very hard to make work cards. <laughs> Is this a huge mistake? It should be fine because it's not like I have a Frost Orb up front anyway. And I want to do some damage. I feel kind of bad about the Equilibrium. The double glacier? That's probably correct. I think he's doing 40 damage. T plus 40. T starts at zero, increased by five each time. It is time is used, up to a max of 30. Oh, for the first three turns. Oh, so he's not he's not actually attacking yet. Okay, okay, I'm okay. Did you play the violence for this song? Wait, what? You didn't take Ruin Tone. You got it without consent. That's true. But you support Mark of the Bloom? Yeah, Mark of the Bloom. Mark of the Bloom is the uh is the funnest way to win. The most fun way. Okay, so he's actually not doing that much damage. I'm okay. But I would like to get. I would like to get a frost orb in front. It does not look like that's going to be an option. I will, however, consume here. Oh yeah, the upgrade to consume is also very good. Look at all these green cards. Everything is green. Okay, now it is time. So that's 40 damage. He's doing 40. Double defrag? I think that's probably right. That puts me at 11 block per orb, which is 44. And with the hand, it's excellent. This is a little bit more damage. All right, everything is fine. I don't think he can hurt me. He's doing 45 now, but I can get up to 77. 
and he doesn't do more than 77. He he doesn't do more than 70. He maxes out at 70 damage. Head tricks or uh head facts. Sideways head facts. He maxes out at 70 damage. Yeah, I like the cat eyes. The cat eyes are good. Uh, this will make my attacks do more damage. All right, easy. See, we took zero damage. Centennial puzzle, excellent. I have to take damage though for it to work. I don't want those. Should I fight more elites? Is that stupid? It's maybe fine. I think, oh, the problem is I can't do anything at this spot. The camp doesn't help me. Uh, I can't rest. I mean, I can rest, it doesn't do anything. I can't upgrade anything because everything's already upgraded for Mark of the Bloom. And I just recalled. So I should just go this way maybe? But I kind of want the relic, right? Is it greedy? Am I just making things harder for myself? I'm a little worried about Reptomancer. Let's go this way. I'm a little worried about shapes, but I have an electrodynamics hiding somewhere. No sweeping beam. Not against shapes. This is fine. Whoa, we got a lot of zeros coming out of there. That is excellent. I'm happy to consume here. Oh, I might have messed that up. I guess that's zero. I think I have plenty of block. I need to kill this guy. Do I lose the... Yeah, this is fine. Okay. I was worried about losing the Plasma War. But being able to play the loop maybe made it worthwhile. Ooh. I think we do this. And then we get the echo form back. This maybe killed everything. Yeah, that looks like it. Okay. <laughs> Compile driver is okay, but I think it's not as good as skipping. I want sapphire key. We just gotta beat that elite and everything is fine. That's too expensive. So he's constricting me. I believe he's not attacking this turn. So the block cards don't actually help. But frost orbs are good. Probably don't need the glacier though. Do I want the dual cast? I just want cards actually. Okay. I guess I'm playing... Or losing my Plasma Orb. I don't love it. I could Equilibrium. What would I be saving for next turn, though? Glacier and Cool-Headed, that's actually not terrible. Equilibrium Streamline? Oh, some of these might be zero because of... No, I don't think that's true. 
Uh, because of the Sneko. Sneko, or not Sneko, because of the Mummified Hand. In which case, they will lose their zero cost. I think this is fun. Oh yeah, cool headed. Yep. Toot. Okay, so now he could be doing 18 or 25. Uh, so up to 37, which is a lot. Let's uh, defragment. Which I think made this free. Let's see, 18 plus 18 is 36. That seems okay, actually. Cold snap, that's plenty. Okay. I think he did 18 there. I can't tell. All for one. Glacier is there, cool headed is there. Okay, all for one is pretty good. Let's double loop. This is free. This is free. That's free. Draw some cards. More orb slots. All for one is self is free. Draw more cards. All right, I think we got plenty of block. Uh, can I kill it? Maybe. There we go. All right, have not taken any damage since we took Mark of the Bloom. Everything seems fine. Do I want the aggregate? Do I want the dark orb? It does feel like a dark deck. We have loop. And we have a bunch of frost orbs. I think I do take the darkness. Dark deck, yeah. This doesn't actually heal me. This loses 12 HP permanently, which seems real bad. And we have Sneko Eye, so I think we just retrace. Even Mark of the Bloom is purple too. As if it's a part of a dark deck, it's designed for dark. The downside with Mark of the Bloom, especially finding it early in Act 3, is that the dark that we picked up, whoops, the dark, darkness that we picked up is not upgraded. It only upgrades at the moment you pick up Mark of the Bloom. Going forwards, it doesn't, which is unfortunate. Okay, hold on a sec. Fifty chance between burn or multi attack. So at most he's doing twenty one. He's not doing scythe. I'm not going to Tempest turn one. Both defrags for zero? That's amazing. Uh, plus Glacier is enough block, so I don't need to defend. I may as well play the Streamline. Let's see what else I get. Echo Form, very good. Let's play the free stuff, or the stuff that makes other stuff free. All right, all right. We keep playing the powers that play the other powers. We got we got some extra energy. All right. So we're already up to uh 30 block. Also the all for one. That's nice. I guess I want to retain, right? So that I can all for one. Do I want to retain for two turns, though? 
No, I just want to retain for one turn. So let's do this. Ooh, that I do not want to retain. Just kidding. I guess we have 45 blocks, so it doesn't matter. Oh, did I not have any zero costs in the... I did not have any zero costs. Okay, never mind. I was like trying to do something. Scythe! Oh, he... He's not doing 45, he was doing 49 because of plus 4 strength. He has plus 4 strength because he's the burning elite. He's the strength burning elite. I took 1 damage. Play some zero costs. Uh, Streamline will be zero in the discard after I play it, so then all for one will bring it back. Did I get enough block? Did I get 49? I got 36, 48. I got 48 again. Well, it's the best I can do. Fine. Took one damage. Uh, next turn, Sunder will kill. All right, no problem. Burning Elite, Dead Branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card to your deck. Do I want that? Tempest exhausts. Ascender's Bane exhausts. This card exhausts. The Curse exhausts. Is that it? Yeah, that's probably okay then. Gambler's Brew. Probably better than Fear Potion. Double Energy and then Dead Branch will give me something else? I don't think I need it. Especially with Mummified Hand, I don't really need the energy. I could go to the shop. I would really like... I would really like a Runic Capacitor. I guess I can afford it. I can't remember if I've seen it in a shop. It's not here. Lantern? I don't need energy on turn one. It turns out... Because of the gambling chip, it's fine. I could mirror. Echo form? Defragment? I think both would be fine. I think it is definitely Dolly's mirror. Extra echo form or extra focus? Probably Echo Form. Echo Form is just so good. All right. Darklings could be bad. I don't want the three. Uh, actually, that's probably okay. Get rid of Strike. Dual Cast. How am I blocking? Is that it? Do I just keep these cards? 16. I need some frost. This is probably fine. There's some frost. Okay. It made something else cost zero. It made the echo form cost zero. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, I think it made the cold snap cost zero. Okay. I think I play a power here. Alternately, I could play cool headed and all for one. But I think I play a power and hope that it hits Cool Head Editor all for one, even though the power costs three. I played one defragment already, so maybe the capacitor is more useful here. It hit the all for one, that's excellent. Let's play this first. Not, it's not ideal, but that's okay. That's okay. 
Alright, that should be plenty of block. Ooh, it was barely enough block. Wait, so what does it mean if they attack? On turn 1, 50% chance of nip or harden. So they all attack. They did nip on turn 1. Afterwards, split between nip, chomp, and harden. Chomp is what I'm scared of. Nip cannot be used three times in a row. So they could still be doing nip again, but they could also be not attacking. Well, I think we echo form twice. Now we have three echo form. The next two cards benefit from it. So I guess we have plenty of block. Okay. Uh, everything is probably fine now. I find it hard to imagine how things could not be fine in this situation. Do I want to consume here? I mean, I have tons of block, right? And the lightning orbs are going to go off. I should probably do this. Everybody's dead. Oh, look, I got a Darkness Plus. I wasted a regular Darkness when I could have just used the Darkness Plus. Or I, I, I wasted picking up the regular Darkness. Here. The Darkness Minus. When I could have just taken the Darkness Plus. Well... I guess that's okay. Um, I don't think I actually need it. I think one darkness is probably fine. And at this rest, I'm just going to upgrade it. I'm going to turn my darkness into a darkness plus. Because resting does nothing. Resting does nothing and um, because of Mark of the Bloom. And it's the only card I have. Okay. No electrodynamics, no three cost cards, no all for one. It's not awesome, but it's fine. Because we're basically looking for defragments, capacitor, powers, basically. We did not really get them. Let's draw another card. There's capacitor, that's good. Do I want to draw cards? This is fine. What did it hit? Cool headed or something? Definitely playing that. Okay, how many cards do I want to play? Always use haste once immediately after reaching below 50. Otherwise, approximately 20. Percent, forty-five percent, thirty-five percent, between ripple, reverberate, and head slam. So I could be taking as much as thirty-two on turn one. So let's play this, and I think I do play both of these. Thirty-two. Let's see, it's twenty-six. That's thirty. Yeah, I kind of want to play both. I feel bad about retaining this hand. I don't think I play the ball lightning here. Oh, but then I draw one less card. But I'll only be able to play four cards. Three next turn? Yeah, I think we just draw one, one fewer card. Oh, also he might debuff me so I draw one fewer card. Isn't that a thing? Meteor Strike? Well, that's really interesting, actually. Too bad I can only play five cards. Oh, come on. It missed? Um, I need to get some block. Which attack did he do last turn? I think it was head slam, actually. I think it was a single attack. Because my draw was reduced. Yes. So he did head slam last turn. So he's either doing ripple or he's doing reverberate. Because head slam cannot be used twice in a row. So he's doing at most he's doing his multi-attack 
Worst case, he's doing his multi attack. Which is 24. I may end up taking it, right? I could play a card and use a potion. He's going to be doing 30. Do I drink it? I only get two cards instead of three because of hand space. But a glacier would really save me. All right. Or I could Gambler's Brew. Maybe I Gambler's Brew. Lose everything except loop. Seven cards. Yeah, okay, okay. Did I not get my glacier? <laughs> oh man. Why? Cool headed plus leap? Let's see, this gives me 20 block. 18 block, yes, that works. Leap gives me 20, 32. Oh, that's actually enough. So let's leap and defragment. That's enough. 30 is enough. Yep, he did 30. Okay. If I consume twice, I'll go down to four orb slots. That'll give me three orbs worth a block. I don't think I need to. I think I just want to consume once. Cool headed, consume, darkness. Three meteors? No. <laughs> Actually not, because I just want a bunch of frost orbs now. I just want to sit on a bunch of frost orbs. We're at four cards. Do I even want the echo form? I guess. It gives me block. Okay, that's fine. I am vulnerable. But the most damage he can do now is 45. 40... 48. Oh, that's not quite enough. Uh, with loop it is, though. There we go. Now we just wait. Oh, this turn. Uh, this turn matters. Okay, now we just wait. The most damage you can do is 48. I'm just gonna sit here and... wait for the Dark Orb to get really big, and then kill him. All right, time eater. Kind of a huge time sink because I'm just waiting. So I gain 15 dark each time. It's gonna take a lot of turns. I mean, I think I still have a dual cast, right? Somewhere. But then I gotta be able to properly move it into position and then dual cast it. Yeah, everything's fine. It's just kind of boring. Time Eater, the most boring boss for defect. In fact, you love it? I'm not bored by this slow play. You love this slow play? Playing cards is overrated. Do you like how we're all the way up to turn 19? 
Oh, I guess we're we're in uh, dual cast range now. I could maybe try to figure out how to dual cast it. That's not dual cast. Also, there are so many slimes in our deck. Look, look, look at our deck. Actually, oh, that's not it. Uh, dual cast? Dual cast is up here, so it, it's still there. I mean, you could have played Cool Headed twice by now, you chose not to. I need the loop to get enough block on the Frost Storm. Oh, there's dual cast. Oh, I missed it. Shoot. We're not going to see it again. We're just going to get up to 462. The loop is the loop on it is giving me 44 block, which I need. You have been here lurking. Hello, plants. That's right. Tessa Turnups mentioned you were home. Thanks for lurking. That is a creepy uh emote. Well, you still could have played it once to get the dark orb closer. You're right. Does that help me though? Did I pass it again already? I could play the darkness, making it trigger faster. I'm playing City Skyland. Oh, yeah. How is your town going? Mayor Plants. What should I know about running a city? Do I just play Electrodynamics? I think that'll end everything. I started on a second city, and it's going well. Oh, why did you start a second city? <laughs> second city makes me think of the comedy crew. All right. Awakened one? I am worried about Awakened one. I think Awakened One is my hardest. Because I have a lot of powers I want to play. And well, Awakened One gets strong. I am, I am worried about this. Surely not that. Capacitor? I think, what do I think? I think Capacitor and Defrag is probably okay. Echo Form is probably okay. <laughs> That's like most of my powers. Uh, loop is probably not okay. Electrodynamics is probably not okay. I can actually maybe get away without an Echo Form. I don't know. Echo Form into Glacier is actually very helpful. Maybe I play one Echo Form. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So turn one, these guys aren't attacking. He's attacking for slash, sludge, slash. Always going to slash, 20. Uh, but he started with plus two strength. So he's actually doing 22. I think I got a defrag though. I want the cool headed to get hit. It did not. What got hit? I don't know. Sweeping beam? Come on. Oh, I got a free cool headed anyway. Sunder. Let's go. Free energy. All right. Things are looking great. Free skim. What is happening here? Okay. I'm just going to play the whole deck. How about that? Okay. Do I want energy? Let's see what cards I have. I don't want electrodynamics. I maybe want consume though. So yeah, I think we do this. It's a way to get focus. Okay. Reboot? Reboot's pretty good. 
Oh man. I don't know what to do. I don't know how much strength to give him. Six times four, but he's eight. So it's up to 14 times four. 14 times four sounds really big and scary. I think the one echo form is enough. I think the double defragment is also okay. I, I, I may regret all this. I regret I may regret my life choices. Die. This is actually pretty good. Oh wait, no loop. Okay, he's at twelve. Twelve plus six is eighteen. Eighteen times four. Is 72? Oh, can he really be doing 72? 60, I have 71. I have 71 block right now. It's fine. It'll totally be fine. Hey, it's Jacob. So what do I want to do? Since he can do so much damage, I guess I just want to block each turn. I should have been paying more attention to know which attack he did. I wasn't. <laughs> which is my bad. Because I don't think he can do the same one twice. Um, There's no loop. It's just a question of how many frost orbs do I want for blocking. Right now I have a bunch out, but do I want to turn one of them into a lightning for next turn? If I've been paying attention to what attack he did, this would be way easier, but I was not paying attention. I think I need the damage. That was a single hit. That was slash. Always going with slash, then it's 25% chance of using soul strike and 75% chance of using slash. I see. I think this is right. I'm not sure. Him? But my hand is very full. He, I only have 60, 61 block, but this will be enough. And there's no point in drawing more cards. Yeah, he does 72. 72 is so scary. 72 is a big number. Do I need to equilibrium? 40, 4, 70. I have 70 already. I could just dual cast and call it. Hmm. I think I'd rather re equilibrium reboot. Yeah, that's totally fine. Barrage, not bad. Save these for blocking next turn, because I still have the equilibrium. This seems fine. Sunder is free. All right, we're getting there. Strike is free. All right. This will work. We can finally play our echo form. Do I want Glacier for next turn? Yeah, probably. Better save, better have it than not have it. All right. Okay, second form. Either you're doing Dark Echo for 40, which is nothing, or Tackle for 10 times three. He has 12 strength. That puts him at 22. 22 times 3 is only 66. He does less damage now. That is excellent for me. Oh, 
All right, let's go. Maybe a darkness in the back? Sure. Because now I can get 88, so I think he can no longer damage me. And I just wait for the Dark Orb, like before. You got this, Ruined Gum is no problem for you. Thanks. I think we just strike him for fun. And then we wait for the Dark Orb, like last time. Not the most exciting play, but we're fine. Double Sunder, double Streamline. I guess I can start moving the Dark Orb forward. Uh, but I do want the Frost Orb. Double Sunder. Single All for One. Honestly, I think Doom is very good until Act 4. Act 4 is scary, though. Well, the Heart... Yeah, I guess the Heart is scary because you don't know if he's which attack he's doing. That's pretty bad. And then, um... It's also hard with the Act 4 Elites. But you know... With the Act 4 Elites, you know after turn 1... Kind of? I guess, yeah. I guess not. Not really. Do I have enough? I have enough damage, right? We're done. Alright. Since we took Mark of the Bloom, I think I've taken one damage. Did I take two? Maybe one. One or two. All right. This does nothing. It's because I have no cards to smith. That's why it's grayed out. Sadness. Okay. Buffer would be really nice. Tungsten Rod would have been really nice. Do I want the Doom and Gloom? I don't actually think so. I think the one Dark Orb I have is fine. Alright. This is a pretty good hand. So, not a bad hand. Although there are no powers, so maybe it's not as good as I think it is. I guess I can Equilibrium into the second turn. But let's still try to get some powers in here. Dark Orb's not helping me. I mean, do I care about doing damage this turn? I just want my powers, don't I? Maybe hold on to the streamline? I feel bad about losing the Sunder, the Ball Lightning. Maybe I should keep the Sunder. It's a lot of damage. Okay, we got Echo Form. I'm definitely equilibrium. So we can either be taking 33. Yeah, 33. 21 from this guy and 12 from this guy. Or 12. I guess we assume we're taking 33. And do it this way. We're retaining our hand, which is excellent, because we're going to get burns, and then this will allow us to draw past them. Do I want the cool headed now? Yeah, because maybe I get something I can play. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, oh, I didn't mean to lose my energy orb, though. I think we keep these, though, because... Well, let's let's drop the loop. Okay, so now we're taking 60 something. 61. But that's a okay. 61 is totally fine. Right? 
Do we double leap? Sure. Why don't I have any good cards? Defend, that's not what I wanted. Skim? Oh yeah, see, we, we got enough block, so that wasn't the... I'm worried I'm gonna skim into like echo forms that I can't play. So I think I just do this. May as well. Okay. I would like more focus. I would also like more block. Oh, this is bad. So I, I believe the one on the left is doing like uh fifty something. Thir thirty eight. Uh, but the one on the right is not attacking, so if I can turn around, it's 38. I need to block 38. But this is not looking great. I may use my Swift Potion. Do I want to draw first? Yeah, I have no block, right? And a scam. Okay, that's much better. And then double defrag? That's a little risky. I'm gonna do it. Let's turn around. An expensive equilibrium. Defend is zero, Sweeping Beam is zero. But I think I just want Frost Orbs. Am I going to get there? I don't actually think so. What did I decide? He's doing 30-some? Okay, I think we're fine. Also, I can just kill him. I can just kill them all. Yeah. Lightning is going to do... Yeah, you're all dead. All right. Worrying about nothing. Play good music. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. I have no potions, but we made it to the heart. Compile driver at this point. I don't think compile driver matters that much at this point. The cool headers are already so good for card draw. The mark of the bloom was a great pickup. Okay. I want to get powers out. There's echo form. That's good. There's deep rag. There's loop. I'm playing that. The zero cost defend is pretty good. So we can play cards. Oh, although we have the anchor as well. Also, Centennial Puzzle. Sometimes you want to get hit by the beat so that you can Centennial Puzzle. But maybe I want Centennial Puzzle next turn, which is when um, uh, the curses are going to be in my deck. The wound, the burn, the void. This is probably OK. OK. Let's play the power. Play the other power. Wait. Yeah. I'll feel bad if it hits the strike. It hits sweeping beam. That's okay. Do I want to trigger the centennial puzzle? 
If I play Zap in Echo form, it'll trigger. I'll be down to six cards, so I'll draw three more. But I probably can't play them, so probably not. And maybe I just want to echo form anything I play. Like a power. Let's block. Darker zap. Your HP is 5961? Yes, that is correct. And we have this relic that lets you not heal. Do I want darkness or zap? Probably darkness. It'll probably do more damage. All right. Defragment, capacitor. There's defragment. That works out okay. It's a little expensive. Puzzle. Okay. So worst case scenario, he's doing the multi-hit for 45? No, he's doing Echo for 69, right? So I need to be able to handle 69. I feel like I have a lot of choices here. What am I at? I haven't seen capacitor yet. I might consume one. 27, 57, 62. I'm at 62. 62. All right, I think that's fine. And I'm retaining the hand, which is good, so I can cool headed next turn. 65. I took two damage. It's fine. All right, no problem. I was going to double capacitor. I think that's probably right. Free creative AI. Cool headed. Uh, okay, so he's doing the multi-hit now, which is only three. That's 45 damage. We're already got more than that. Get rid of this. Wait, 45? I'm at 36. I'm at 36. I'm at 49. This is fine. Oh, I got an extra glacier. That's excellent. I will love having an extra glacier in my deck. Barrage, also excellent. He's not attacking this turn. I think this will be an easy win, it's looking like. We are echo forming. We're double barraging. Equilibrium? It's not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times 13. I don't know what that is. 60, 70, 78? And he never feared Runic Dome again. It was really rough in Act 2. And Act 1. Act 1 and Act 2 were really terrible. Look at how few relics I have. I think we're just doing damage. This is fine. 
Static Discharge. Right? Because for the multi-hit, I mean, if I take damage, but... That's fine. Okay. Okay. He could be doing the multi-hit, right? The multi-hit does more damage. That's the one we care about, right? He has two strength. That's 60. We just need 60 block. We got a bunch of glaciers. Also machine learning. That's pretty cool. Let's dual cast? Is that right? Yeah. And then we'll double consume for focus. Hello world? It's fine. Almost hit the damage cap there. I have a lot of focus, yes. 16. 16 is a pretty good number for focus. We can make it even more. So he didn't do the multi-attack, right? He just did the single hit there. So I think he's doing 60 this turn. But I have easily 60 block. So really I just want to do damage, right? You know what? I could double claw and then all for one it. I think what I do... Like that. All for one, unfortunately, there's not enough space in my hand. I'm only going to get two cards back. And I'm not playing that Equilibrium. Am I worried about next turn? Did I mess... Oh no, this is the multi-hit. And the next turn he's not attacking, right? Yeah, so everything's fine. Uh, am I going to take a little bit of damage from the chip? I don't want to. Oh no. Uh, chip damage? Look at all these claws I got. Whoops, that was order maybe. All right, turn seven. That worked really well. I was so skeptical of this deck. Also, I played pretty fast. Look, it's only two hours and 30 minutes. I think it was like, in the beginning, because I kept thinking I was gonna die, I like was like, eh, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna think too hard. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play through. But that worked out really well. I got some really good relics in Act 1. And then I ran away from everything. Alright. That was excellent.